In this experiment, we will discuss how to determine the specific heat of liquid by method of cooling. Here we are using the liquid kerosene and this is the calorimeter and this is the outer part of the calorimeter and you see this is the inner of the calorimeter and this is the uh, calorimeter which we generally keep inside the uh, insulating material we generally uh, keep the calorimeter inside and uh, and the calorimeter is covered by means of a uh, by means of a wooden lid this is the wooden lid and uh, you need a thermometer this is the arrangement to keep the thermometer to measure the temperature of liquid which you put inside the calorimeter you put, keep the thermometer like this so we generally measure the temperature of the liquid and here we measure the temperature of water and temperature of the kerosene first what you do you weigh the calorimeter by means of a physical balance this is the electronic balance and we measure, we measure the mass of the calorimeter by means of this electronic balance you may measure by means of a physical balance but i have used here a electronic balance you set it to zero you set the balance to zero then keep the calorimeter and mark the weight it is a by means of by means of the display since it is a electronic balance it is very easy to find out the mass you see the mass of the calorimeter is 53.92 gram okay so you first measure the calorimeter which is in empty there is nothing inside the calorimeter then what you do you pour some volume of water you keep some volume of water inside the calorimeter and uh, you then what you do you measure the amount of water you have placed in the calorimeter either you do it by measuring the volume you can do find out the weight of the water from the volume by using the formula rho is equal to density is equal to mass divided by volume and density of water is known so if you multiply density of water with the volume you can find out the mass uh, indirectly or you can measure the mass of liquid or water by means of any uh, balance then what you do you heat the water inside the calorimeter you heat the water up to 70 degree centigrade after heating to 70 degree centigrade you keep it inside the calorimeter box and uh, cover the lid of the calorimeter cover with the lid and measure the fall in temperature measure the fall in temperature by means of the thermometer and the fall in temperature you measure the fall in temperature from 70 to 40 degree centigrade record the fall in temperature of water then what you do you take some equal volume of kerosene or any liquid i have taken here kerosene equal volume of kerosene and and uh, you measure the weight or mass of the kerosene by means of any physical balance or electronic balance or by uh, 
measuring its volume now heat the kerosene up to 70 degree centigrade and record the fall in temperature from 70 to 40 degree centigrade as you have done in case of water so to determine the specific heat of any liquid by method of cooling you have to use either two calorimeters of equal mass or you use one calorimeter uh, first with water then the same calorimeter with the liquid as i have discussed kerosene suppose the mass of the calorimeter is m and specific heat of the calorimeter is s1 and mass of suppose v volume of water taken in the calorimeter is m1 and s2 is the specific heat of water and in the experiment we have taken v volume of hot water we have heated the water up to 70 70 degree centigrade so v volume of hot water in the calorimeter a and allow the water to cool from theta 2 degree centigrade to theta 1 degree centigrade as i have told you uh, you have to cool the water from 70 70 degree centigrade to 40 degree centigrade then what will be the heat lost by the calorimeter uh, suppose a that is equal to m s1 and difference in temperature theta 2 minus theta 1 your theta 2 is the temperature of the hot water and theta 1 is the temperature room temperature or the temperature say 40 degree centigrade so what will be the heat lost by water in the calorimeter heat lost by water in the calorimeter a that is equal to m1 s2 into theta 2 minus theta 1 so what will be the total heat lost by water and calorimeter heat lost by calorimeter is m s1 theta 2 minus theta 1 and by water m1 s2 theta 2 minus theta 1 so now what you do you take v volume of experimental liquid say kerosene in calorimeter b but here we have used the same calorimeter uh, suppose m2 is the mass of v volume of the experimental liquid or kerosene in the calorimeter b and s is the specific heat of the experimental liquid we have to determine the specific heat of the experimental liquid so the total heat lost by the calorimeter and experimental liquid is equal to m s1 theta 2 minus theta 1 and heat lost by the experimental liquid is m2 s theta 2 minus theta 1 suppose this is equation number 2 and what is what will be the rate of cooling of water from newton's law of cooling we know the rate of cooling of water and calorimeter uh, a is equal to rate of cooling of experimental liquid and calorimeter b so from equation 1 and 2 in equation 1 we have taken the heat lost by calorimeter and water then how you calculate the rate of loss of heat you divide this with time suppose the time is t1 and uh, this divided by the time t1 will be equal to the rate of loss of heat by calorimeter and water similarly if you divide this uh, quantity by time suppose t2 then this will be equal to the rate of cooling of experimental liquid and calorimeter b so from equation 1 and 2 if you divide the time this side uh, in a, equation 2 we have divide time t2 and in equation 1 we have divide time t1 so this will this will be the rate of uh, rate of cooling of water and water and calorimeter a and this will be the rate of cooling of experimental liquid sorry this will be the rate of cooling of experimental liquid and calorimeter and this will be the rate of cooling of water and calorimeter so if you equate it then this will be uh, in the both side of the equation you cancel theta 2 minus theta 1 so you will get this equation then if you solve it then you will find out s is equal to 
the specific heat of the experimental liquid will be equal to 1 by m2 t2 divided by t1 m s1 plus m1 s2 minus m s1 you see we have determined uh, the values of m m1 uh, and uh, known value of s1 and s2 because m is the mass of the calorimeter we will determine it by means of a balance and m1 is the mass of v volume of water uh, which we will measure by means of balance similarly m2 is the mass of v volume of experimental liquid or kerosene which you measure by means of a balance and s1 s1 is the specific heat of calorimeter this is the standard value because calorimeter is made up of copper so specific heat of calorimeter is known and uh, s2 that is the specific heat of water this is also a known value only unknown is t2 divided by t1 and value of t2 by t1 can be found out from experiment and this is your observation table you take the reading of the fall in temperature first you heat water up to 70 70 degree centigrade or 65 degree centigrade you heat uh, from 65 to 70 degree centigrade then you take the fall in temperature with time one second difference first you take one uh, uh, second one minute difference then you measure with a two minute difference then three minute difference like this because initially the fall in temperature will be rapid but uh, after some time you will see the fall in temperature will be uh, less that is why uh, at the end you take the fall in temperature at a larger interval so in the same way you find out the fall in temperature of the experimental liquid that is here we have taken kerosene your experimental liquid i have taken from 68 degree centigrade to 37 degree centigrade and water from 65 degree centigrade to 40 degree centigrade and after taking this observation you plot a graph you plot a graph taking time along x axis and temperature along y axis you see in the x axis i have taken time difference 5 10 15 15 minutes up to 50 50 minutes and temperature up to 70 and uh, if you plot the graph then the shape of the graph will be like this this is for the graph for the experimental liquid and this is the graph for water and according to uh, your uh, newton's law of cooling at difference in temperature suppose 10 degree the difference in temperature must be 10 degree centigrade so you draw two lines having difference 10 degree centigrade if theta 1 will be 40 then theta 2 will be 50 like this so at a difference of 10 degree centigrade you draw two horizontal lines and the horizontal line will meet the curve so you take any curve suppose at two points here and here and this temperature difference is your time if this is t2 this difference is t2 then this difference will be t1 you take two points here one point and here one point and between between two points you take you find out one time that is the difference theta 2 minus theta 1 for this graph for water and for this graph you also find out two times two time difference so you can find out theta 2 minus theta 1 for two liquids one for water and another for kerosene and from this t1 and t2 value if you put this t1 and t2 value in the expression then you can find out the value of or you can calculate the value of specific heat of that liquid while doing the experiment you may also get the curve like this for different liquids you may also get the curve like this and you adopt the same procedure you draw two horizontal lines if you draw two horizontal lines one here and another say here then also for any line you will get two 
points and from that two points you draw perpendiculars from the two points you will draw perpendiculars and this will be the time time for that curve similarly for this line also you uh, draw two perpendiculars and you get the time and by putting the value of t1 and t2 in this expression you can calculate the value of the specific heat of the experimental liquid so this is a very easy method how to find out the specific heat of any uh, given liquid by method of cooling thank you